morning. It is cruise day and we are on the Norwegian getaway for a three night going to Nassau and their private island, Great Syrup K. In this video, we're gonna show you everything to do, all the activities we attend, all the food, all the drinks, and maybe some tips on the way. We got our first drink of the cruise. I'm drinking a painkiller. And one thing to note right now, at least with our cruise, I can't do it. Um, with the entertainment, it is mostly all open seating. Sometimes with Norwegian, depending on how busy your cruise is, you do have to make reservations. So I always suggest coming to one of the boards by the elevators and just making sure you don't need reservations for the shows. So we have just gotten on board and we went to the Welcome Aboard Buffet. Really nice selection, tons of food on the buffet. There was roast steamship on the carving station, pretzel bread, uh, a cheesy au gratin potatoes, quesadillas with chicken and mushroom, and uh, American meatloaf. Over here, there was a, a made-to-order food station with pasta. But I'm really excited. Yeah, about. we got penne, white sauce, and a really good-looking sausages, a bourbon chicken. Are uh, there some fries there and a piece of braised beef? Also, there was an Asian station with some ginger. And then we grabbed a couple of drinks. There was a, a bar in the back of the buffet. So we're drinking some uh, hard seltzers I've never heard of. And uh, we're all the way in the back. Desserts, they have cake pops. And what kind of cake did you get? Chocolate praline cake. A promotion I don't think I've ever seen on a ship. Right now it's because of the World Cup going on. If you get a Bud Light, which can be included with your beverage package, you get a scratch card. The state rooms are ready. We are walking to our state room. And one of my favorite tips on Norwegian Cruise Line is the carpet has fish on it and the fish face forward. So you always know your location on the ship. We have made it to our stateroom. We got an interior stateroom. i kind of amazed to find the interior stateroom. But hopefully quiet. Yeah, definitely quiet. I like the photo on the wall. It's very modern in here. Mm -hmm. Kind of small. Let's see. The TV size. Average. Of, not a lot of storage, it would appear. We'll see. We'll see how well it works. The good news is glass uh, bathroom. Nice. Something I've never seen before. You can pick your tender group, which you need for the private island, in your seat room. We are group three. We got another Bud Light. We have so far failed at getting any scratch off and prizes. It's weird because I would never normally order a, like, a Bud Light on a beverage package, but uh. Now with the chance to win a prize, it's tempting. No, um, it's not coming out good on the screen at all. But this is very peaceful because it's, it's a screensaver mode. We just drank our Bud Lights here in these chairs. And it's probably one of the most comfortable chairs so far. It was so peaceful and relaxing. Second lunchtime, and we are eating in the Sheehan's. Which is probably your favorite place on any Norwegian ship. Yeah, it's a 24 hour kind of like, like quick food. So it's waiter service. So they serve like pub food and appetizers. I love it. It's usually 24 seven. Mm -hmm. They do have a late night menu. We're eating a lunch menu. So I'm getting a potato skins, but it has like corn, peas, and beef. You went with the classic chicken wings. Fun fact, I'll probably only go chicken wings. We'll probably only go chicken wings. And I'm guessing we'll probably be here four, five, maybe six times. We'll see. They have a pork shopping show at Sugar Cane, drinking a mojito. I got a pineapple coconut mojito. And you went with more of a tiki type drink. Yeah, they have two different kinds of tiki bar drinks. The tiki rum punch that I'm drinking now, they also do a Saturn. The bar is very proud of them. There is also a live musician, a pianist. Of course, they have a sail away party. It's very bright. Something we've never seen before is the rocket launch right there going off 
Something we've never seen before. I mean, and I'm really shocked. Orlando, but not here on a cruise ship. Yeah. There was one time that it was canceled that we were supposed to see it. Good thing we had a good uh, late sail away. Yep. It is very bright. All the way up. Can't zoom in anymore. Well, that would be very pixelated. But it's a beautiful sunset. And there it goes. And return to the ground is the booster. Kind of really. A popular cruise activity is hiding ducks. And I think we just found one. You got it? It's like a tiger duck. Dinner time and we are eating in the complimentary dining room. You can either choose savor dining room or taste. I believe, or the Tropicana room. Or the Tropicana. I believe we are in taste. And for night one, for appetizers, I got the shrimp wontons and you went with bruschetta. Update, I made a mistake. These are crab wontons. For the main entree, you got the steak medallions and I went with the chicken. For dessert, we are splitting the warm chocolate lava cake. First trivia of the cruise, where in the world? Watching the football game in the H2O pool bar. In Sid's Norman bar, they do have a specialty menu, but they make it with, well, alcohol. Yeah, when the uh, the menu calls for like Calzadores tequila and bullet, they just use well, so don't order off the menu. Currently listening to the band at Sid Norman's. It's a massive band, and I do recommend getting here very early. We got here about 25, 30 minutes early just to get a seat, and we got one of the last seats. that they use their atrium for movies. Time number two in O'Shea Hands. I got pretzel bites and you got wings again. Good morning, it is day two. We spent some time in the room watching Uncharted and then Spider-Man came on. So we're having- Tom Holland double feature. Yes. <laughs> we're having late breakfast. I got uh, Lots of sausage bangers, a lot of bacon, there was crispy and non-crispy, then I got uh, Danish, you went with French toast. With a banana on top. With a banana on top. And a, a warm cinnamon roll. That looks good. One thing I absolutely love about this ship is that they have the sports on in multiple different places. So they had the football game on yesterday, we are sailing during the World Cup, and they have uh, two different games on both at H2O, in the bars, on your stateroom. It's really, really nice. In the atrium, they have a game called Celebrity Heads, where a contestant has to guess who's pictured behind them. I think my favorite thing is uh, she could not remember Tom Brady's name, so she kept saying, the one that <laughs> won't stop playing. <laughs> Lunchtime in the buffet, and we are sharing some uh, quarter and blue pork. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Turkey chili. Turkey chili. That sounds very interesting. And it was pork loin. And then you wanted to try their pizza. It looked nice and crispy. Outside of deck eight, they have a sustainable bar. And the cocktail is really tasty. Kind of odd, but really good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Watching the Grinch, the 2018 version, which works out very well for us, because on the Liberty, we watch the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch. At the bar, they do have pre-made mixed cocktails on tap. 
I went with a blue glacier. It has Jamerson, vodka, Bacardi, Tribersec, uh, passion fruit, lime juice. A pretty drink. And it is second lunchtime in Shocker. We're at O'Sheehan's for the third time in 24 hours. I went with something different again, the artichoke dip. And you went with wings again. Well, and I got a different type of wings. This is sweet Korean chili barbecue. Playing around in darts at O'Sheehan's. That did not stick. And I won. Uh, also, I'd... this is a game you could just play and like keep your own score, and you don't really have to pay anything. We just finished playing the trivia Tribon, where they give you three words, and you have to say what those three words have in common. We didn't do that great. We got 14 out of 20. Uh, there was three winning teams with 19. Not good for us. We just got done with the ropes course. I actually did it. Last time we were on a ship, I freaked out and had a panic attack. So that was good. I would show you the ropes course. However, there's no cameras or anything. I'll show you later maybe in this video. But be forewarned, nothing in your pockets. They have no lockers. Yeah, the no lockers thing was a surprise. I thought that, like, I, I do a lot of ropes courses. This one was really cool. Some elements that were terrifying. The zip line over the basketball course was a lot of fun. And the walk the plank is, is so freaky over the side of the ship. And it was so hot, we ended up getting a, a frozen drink. Mm -hmm. A bushwhacker, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tonight for dinner, we are eating at our specialty restaurant because you get a free specialty restaurant included depending on what package you book with Norwegian. And we are starting at the appetizer. It's 43 menu uh, items that you can choose from and you just go down the line. Us being adults, we got healthy things on the salad part like potatoes, ca uh, potato salad, fritz mozzarella, uh, ham, and then getting back at the table, there is cheese bread. Update, the cheese bread is just cheese on top of bread. It's not like Brazilian cheese bread. Side items here, you got fried yuca, garlic mashed potatoes, rice, and mushrooms. Yep. I also, not gonna lie, went back for more cheese. And, of course, to signal that you're ready for the meats, you just flip this coaster over from red to green. Main on course entrees are about to start. We've had two meats come to our table. Both are filet mignon, regular, and wrapped in bacon. All right, I'll get back to you for another meat. Plate's getting a little bit full. We got sausage, chicken wrapped bacon. I still have some of the filet mignon bacon. And I just finished the chicken leg crusted parmesan yep. crusted. It's good. And then more sides. <laughs> Definitely getting full. Uh, we just got, what did we just get? Chopped sirloin and beef ribs. And also we got lamb from the last update. I'm not sure if I showed the sausage. So much food. There's 12 meats in total. You, uh, again, stop it coming by turning the coaster over. But we're gonna uh, try to see what all 12 different meats there are. Something you will notice, the high value items, like the filet mignon, doesn't come around as much as the chickens and, you know, your Top short- sirloin. Yeah. So be prepared for that. They do ask you if you're waiting for a certain thing and they'll send you it as soon as they have someone available. But know that you'll get four or five chicken people before you get one filet mignon. It's delicious. Of course, after all that food, you need dessert. I got a tartlet, and you went with a coconut trace leches cake. And with that, that was a lot of food. You said you think it's the fullest you've ever felt yeah. in a main dining room on the ship. 
and we are now leaving Nassau and heading to the show, getting some fresh air. It is showtime. We are seeing the magician. Earlier, while we were at dinner, they had a comedian also in here. In the atrium, they are hosting a game show, Battle of the Sexes. At Sugar Canes, we're listening to the Lucky Duo. In SIDS today, they're having karaoke, family and adult only karaoke. The late night movie is A Christmas Carol. Good morning and it is our last day on the getaway. We are at their private island, Great Scarab Cave. And I have to say, this is probably the bumpiest tender road I think I've ever been on. And now you're off. Depending on where, you, what seat you get on the tender boat, sometimes you get a really good view of your ship. A tendering is when the ship cannot dock at the island. It does not have a pier, so you have to get on a smaller boat. Then we'll go to the island. And we made it. We probably waited on the boat for about 20 minutes or so. I don't think it was quite that long. 15? It felt longer because it was moving. It was really moving. But we made it, we didn't find our, our space on the beach. One of our favorite locations on this island is all the way down. It's quieter, there is a bar over here, and a, food a food truck, and it's just peaceful. We found our location right next to this tree so we get some shade all the way at the end next to the bar in the food truck. We spent about two and a half hours in the ocean. A few things. We usually bring our floaties and float around, but the ocean was way too rough. So we just stood in the ocean instead of our using our floaties. And also, this is the longest slide I have ever seen for the bars. It's probably about 25 to 30 people deep. It does move fast. They did bring in a lot of bartenders, but this is the uh, the worst I've seen it over here. Now we're going to head back to the ship, and maybe grab another drink. But overall, it was a fun time. I forgot to mention there is a food truck on the other side here, serving mahi mahi pulled pork sandwich and a chicken sandwich. So we grabbed some food and then stood in the 30 person line. It took about, what, 15 minutes or so to get through that bar line, maybe 20, but beware, there were lines. A really good tip at the buffet, they have a beer bar, a beer bar with not a bad line. There's about five people in front of us, so if Way the quicker, yeah. bars are really, really mobbed like they currently are, I would stop here. We're gonna get uh, four beers. Going back to the ship, we found a giant iguana. Yeah, in the wintertime they like to hang out more on the rocks, in the summertime they like to hang out more on the grass. A really, really cool species, they're the blue iguana, really neat. I think you agree, this is probably the nicest tender boat we have ever been on. It also feels like brand new. There was definitely TV supposed to be there. Lots of cushioned, padded seats. That's really nice. It's very, very nice. I am not much of a body slide person, but I'm gonna try one or two maybe of these slides since I'm in my bathing suits and there's no line. The nice little purple happy slide was closed. So that left the two body slides on this side and the two drop pods on this side. Back at the sustainable bar with a new drink. The last few tender boats are coming back. It is amazing how big the island is. But the only island part that you see is about this section right here for guests. 
And I had no idea there were multiple other small islands as houses either. It's really pretty. Especially with the sunset going down, or the sun going down. At Sugar Gates. In the atrium, they have complete opposite game show. Dinner time in the main dining room. I went with the smoked mozzarella ravioli. And you went with a really heavy, like Asian spare ribs. Yeah. For the main entree, I got chicken madera. And you went with sirloin. Yeah. Some more brownie for dessert. And you went with the warm chocolate lava cake. Yeah. In the venue headliners, they have a comedy show. In the atrium, they have the perfect couple. We went to the theater and watched a little bit of the Million Dollar Quartet that has songs of Elvis and Johnny Cash. And then we came here back to Sid's for the 80s prom. Hands as a fight might have just broken out <laughs> not between <laughs> us, not between us. Um, it is time for here which I'm shocked we didn't come here more I got the pub hot dog the pretzel bites you went with fries and of course the buffalo wings went to bliss lounge for the nightclub and that was our cruise aboard the Norwegian getaway I really enjoyed it I really liked uh, what the ship had to offer, and I'm looking forward to our Norwegian Encore that we have booked in January. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section.